Okay, just setting up some stuff. Nice. Alrighty. Oh, shoot. Yep, there it is. It's crazy to think that my monolith pyramid is like can encompass this entire thing. That's how crazy my old my season three builds were. Like my monolith pyramid like literally if I put my whole monolith pyramid here, which is the exact size of it, from that corner to that corner, it fits perfectly. Like it would just cover the entire thing. So yeah, that's crazy. And this this kind of thing with the whole outline, uh, I like did back in season one too. So it's kind of like a callback. It's been a while since I've uh, made videos. I've had a bunch of them stocked up in my hard drive, but. Uh, I, I never, I never feel like, you know, there's the right time to post them. And s since they're already old anyway, I don't think I'm just gonna post them. Maybe as unlisted, so I can then put in a playlist sometime, but nah. But yeah, let me check my, yep, my mic is working. But yeah. As you can see, I've made a lot of progress. You know, I, I've, I've heard, I've heard people ask, you know, if it resets every, like, like, year or so, why build? And it's like, you have a whole year of stuff. You even have months. Like, it's about the creativity, if I'm being honest. It's not just about, you know, the controversy or the server drama. <clears throat> it's about, like, the creativity, the way you can express yourself. Not just to get money, but, you know, a way to, like, make something that is not just going to be temporary temporarily useful just so you can make money but rather a spectacle that you can you know go back to something that's more than just a farm a, a, you know a piece of art something you made that's you know you're proud of that you can look back upon and you know take inspiration from take motivation from I mean I only have 11 mil but like you know look at the stuff I'm able to do with 11 mil look down there I made this in like an hour like I just made this last hour like yeah, I mean the design is not that difficult to make, so I don't blame anyone. Uh, yeah, fifteen. Uh, why why level fifteen? I think is good, but yeah, you can even see my little redstone area there. That was just to check the redstone limit. But yeah. That I made. Actually, I think I made. Oh, nice. But yeah, I think. 
Actually, I think I made this in two hours, not one, but yeah. I tend to make, I tend to like improvise all my stuff. It's more faster and quicker that way rather than planning. Sure, it's not as like polished, but at the same time, I kind of play by my own rules. It's like, it's like during presentations in school. I, I generally prefer, you know, improvising rather than reading off a script. I mean, most presentations are like that, really, you know. It feels more natural that way. Sa same thing with the recordings, too. You can see a lot of improvisations in my work. Like, especially season three. Like, at first I thought it to be possible, but now, oh my god. I completed it in, like, a month. The mo the monolith pyramid, that's what I'm talking about. But yeah, there we go, look at that. It's like, oh shoot. I hear that there's a height limit there, but I heard from Raven that um, the like flying at a certain height or flying above a certain Y level causes the server to lag. So I I guess that's understandable. But yeah, just look at this. And the re and basically what these things are is basically it's basically to label uh where my claim ends basically see it's like a little box there see that's my, my little farm <clears throat> see stuff like this is this is what I mean like you know stuff that you know to like make loot that's just temporary I mean, all forms are like that anyway, but you know, you know what I mean, like, you build shop, you can build shops, but can you build something that truly expresses yourself? Sure, you can build something for the money, but can you build something for the fun? Like, when the, like, when the thing resets and world downloads released you know the shop's gonna be practically useless and if you and like it's gonna be like kinda mediocre if you don't pretty up as much that's why I implemented that like before this used to be incredibly messy cause it was just hastily made like believe me that farm was incredibly like I originally intended it for it to be a private farm but you know you know me I like to give to the community so I have all this stuff and I put in so much work into like just building stuff and the reason why I do it is just because, well, yeah, it's just fun. I mean, look how far I've come. Of course, this is not peak like season three, but to be fair, season three was like, had all the perfect conditions. I had summertime. Zenith base was literally the last of the Z base trilogy. Um, what else? Um, uh, yeah, I felt like I wanted, yeah, and like I wanted to go out with a bang, you know. Like I love spectacles and I love like you know trying to be creative try to stand out you know 
just like explode or something. I truly put some passion into this work. It's not uniform, it's not perfect, but hey, it is what it is though. Look at this egg farm. Completely improvised. Not, no tutorials. Well, the, I tried a tutorial, but uh, that wasn't my style. Plus, I found that, that, uh, plus, since it, Plus, I, uh, plus, you know, it's unique to my superior, and what I mean by that is that, uh, basically, you know, stack chickens lay multiple eggs, and this one's gonna lay a ton of eggs. So, I had it so that it has like a ton of hoppers, unlike the vanilla ones where. It's just like a bunch of chickens in one area. I tried to make a cooked chicken farm, but I, I, uh, I just sufficed with this. I mean, I I already just buy food from shop. The feathers I don't use for anything, but I can. But I have always saved some stuff, and just in case if anyone asks. I always have stuff lingering around so that I can, you know, uh, like, give to people if they need. So let's say they want string. Well, I got string. Rotten flesh. Uh, spider eyes for brewing. Or even, like, even iron. Like, Iron, like, iron golem spawners are already rare enough, so I want to give them that luxury, you know. Give them the Hawaiian spirit, if you will. But, you know, for real, I just like doing all this. It makes it feel like a home to me. Like a community. You know, I, like, earlier this day, people were calling, like, my friends calling me, like, the best player, but nah, I, I'm really not. I'm just a person with a genuine heart. I, I don't want to be too, like, I, I don't want to, like, try to look, you know, overly kind or something. When I do stuff, it comes from the heart. You know, I genuinely try. I genuinely, I put genuine work into my stuff. Rarely do I actually use tutorials for this stuff. See this whole thing? Improvise. And learn from previous uh, works. This one... I built like a chorus fruit farm back in preseason, but I also just made this from experience because right over there I have the same kind of thing. Over there I have a giant portal because in season one I had one. It's not use. It's not necessary, but it, it's my, it's one of my favorite things. Um. Also the the stack chicken, I forgot to take that out. But yeah, I have a bunch of stuff that I just make on my own. Like I, I give so I give so much help, but I rare like rarely do I actually take in help because mostly I do not require help in my projects. Mostly it's um mostly it's simple work. Like none of it really requires any like, you know, dual person. Even the monolith pyramid I did by myself. 
The only like made like the last major thing I did did with someone, and there's not much of those like there's not much times I like collab with stuff. It was with Danny when I we made this like giant obsidian pyramid, but that but and that's the one that inspired me to like create. Uh, and so I was like, oh, maybe I should make a pyramid of my own. You know, I have big ambitions because I was, I'm like, incredibly ambitious at the time. Like, my hubris was just crazy. So, I wanted to do some of the most craziest crap. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to build a giant pyramid, not just out of iron blocks this time but diamond blocks that thing took like tens of millions of money in the end I think it was actually only like yeah. 16384 that's one map art oh my god 16384 times 4 that's the cause the pyramid it's not solid so it's just like Think of a 2x2 two two map art, but each level you just elevate it. That's basically what the pyramid was. So, 65536. 65536. Five, five, uh, I can't remember, but I'm just gonna say uh, it's like 300 per block. And not all of it, but yeah. So yeah, less than like, like less than twenty mil worth of diamond blocks. I had billions at the time, so yeah. But you know, it was still it was still a lot of hard work. But it, like this, that was the type of stuff I would dream of uh, when I was a kid. In fact, I did try to actually make a pyramid when I was younger. Out of the little smooth stone slabs, this one uh, in Minecraft Bedrock, 100 by it was 100 by 100. It was one of the most craziest crap I've ever tried. I never finished it, of course, but I had big ambitions, and you know that paid off. This whole thing inspired by season one. I already said that, but you know. And in season one, I had like this, uh, this like little border around my uh, mega base. I know I keep saying it's my base, but I know I keep saying things are my base, but like, you know, other people collab with it too, like Macro Miner, Danny, TD Zane, Zigzag to V, Polis, you know, but. I don't know, I just like calling it my base. It's not like I'm discrediting them, it's just that I just prefer calling it that way. And yeah. But you know the whole thing like in Ziggy base I actually wanted to make the whole border around a whole glass border around. I wasn't like <laughs> I have a pattern I have a thing for being just overly ambitious with my builds and I mean it, it, to be fair it, it does pay off at times I mean the spectacle but yeah you know it's just crazy the stuff you can do if you're passionate the stuff you can do with the time the passion even even with limited time like I do like I have I have homework I should be doing but look at the stuff I'm doing in the meantime I mean to be fair my grades are good unlike back in middle school where I was doing like a lot I was putting a lot of work into um games but I wasn't 
putting a lot of work into school, so I was, I ne I almost failed, but that's like a whole other story. Maybe I should talk about that soon, but I don't know. But that's not it. But that's not the point. The point is like, you know, I'm still like. I'm still able to do all this stuff while also, you know, still managing my work. So, to anyone who wants to, you know, build out there, you know, just go right ahead. It's all about passion. It's all about, you know, it's all about just the wonder proving to yourself you know fulfilling yourself it's about creativity seeing the little ways you can implement things I mean just look just take a look at this what was once just a messy old thing now turned into a stylized area and I took this design from um, my, one of my end gateway stuff and and for sure. I took inspiration <coughs> of course it got removed ever since um, the end got uh, th this end island got converted to bedrock but originally I had like stations everywhere I even have the screenshots if I can find it Like when I was uh Ender Dragon for yeah, there it is. Say so, yep. Seven. Eight, yep. Yeah, I put a lot of passion into this. Oh yeah, this is the one, number 10. You can see the little uh, combination there. Yeah. And I put this into my build. I <sighs> polished it up a bit. Because the diorite didn't really mix well. So I just uh, moved to quartz. Diorite I use for I use for the walls cuz white walls and red walls but, And something about this design like I feel like it fits me so well Like you know the red and white I have a big head I, I Don't really have much white on me on my skin, but you know I just like this design and I think it characterizes me a lot. I don't know what the colors represent because I don't know what color theory is. Or even if that's what color theory is about. But you know. You know make the thing you. you know. There's personality. You can see the cloth physics on my cape. Oh! The cape's red and white. Okay, I think I know where I got it. Yeah, sometimes your mind just unconsciously like says things and like, you know, because I've had this cape for a while. So, yeah, it's clear that my mind's gotten used to this thing. And well, yeah, your mind's going to recognize patterns if you, if you see it enough and you're going to and if you make art and stuff, you're going to see a lot of it like implemented to your art. 
Also, this whole thing uh, inspired by my season one thing. But not like, you know, directly inspired. It's just... Like, not the whole, like, deal itself, but just, well... It's slightly inspired. But, like, the design is simple anyway, so, yeah. Sort of like a revamped version of it. It's adapted to, like, kind of differentiate the, the two. Because bamboo grows quicker and sugarcane grows slower, so... Try to balance it out a bit in a way that, like, uh, has it so that the sugar cane and like a uh, bamboo are like fill the chest evenly as you can see yeah some yeah this was before I covered this so yeah I only started I only like I covered this entire thing like like two days ago or no like yesterday I think cuz Oh, I know. Yeah, two days ago. Cause a thing about this is because it's under the farm. So every time I would like try to throw out stuff, I would like coinc like it would just end up falling into this area, and also moths would spawn in here too. So yeah. So not only that, but the loot too. So that's why you can find a bunch of poppies and, you know, uh, iron. It's like a little goodie box that you find. I don't know where the other sniffer went, though. I think it died from the uh, bushes. Or maybe it, or maybe a reboot just, uh, just made it disappear. We had three sniffers originally, actually. If I recall, there were three sniffers. Two of them disappeared. Originally, the first one ran away, but TD Zane found it in while ex while excavating that area. Um, the other two were uh, put here as a replacement, and then the third one disappeared. And now the and now the second one disappeared, like some time. So now there's only one. Most likely they either died or got cleared out. So yeah. But yeah, a lot of stuff. This was from the start of the season where I I was like, oh shoot. They, uh, you could still, you know, uh, you could still, like, claim other kits. So, while I was at it, I was just, bam, bam, bam. Uh, the reason why I don't have the llama kit is because someone early on asked for a llama kit. I was like, you know what, why not? So, yeah, that's why I don't have it. You know, kindness comes at a cost, but, uh, you know... I mean, playing here for four years kind of teaches you that. Especially if you've been so generous throughout. And, yeah. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to show. I've kind of moved on from uploading. I'm still going to upload, of course, but I think, um... Cause I have other videos like, the, like, Epic the Musical and stuff. I have like other stuff. So I'm like, yeah. Oh, one more view. But yeah. So yeah, this is going to be like my last upload for a while because I don't really feel the need to upload. Like I feel like, you know, things should just go at a nice pace.
Also, plus, I have a unit project for my Spanish class, so, oh my god. I'm gonna die. But, yeah, don't worry about that. Anyways, yep. Oh, it's 12 a.m. It's still a school day, too, but I have four... But it's a four-day school. Because President's Day gave us a day off on Monday. So, yep. Try to AFK here like I always do. Actually, I'm not going to play it because I'm actually going to go AFK. So, yep. Okay, see ya.